Is this on? Okay, so this is my shelfie. Come on in. These are some of my main products. Well, actually, most of my main products. Um, I do have other products thrown around everywhere in my apartment. I have products under my bathroom sink. I have products in my bedroom. I have products at work. I have products everywhere. Um, but these are the ones that I typically use every night. Um, these are in my routine every now and then and I have most of my masks up here and then I have some serums um, some oils right here and then of course I have some more masks <laughs> um, cleanser some treatment lotions toners lip mask oils you know everything's right here all right so we're gonna start with, um, let's see. Let's start with Tatcha. Is that how you say it, Tatcha? Tatcha? Whatever, we're starting with Tatcha. So one of my favorite products, well, favorite moisturizer actually is the Tatcha Water Cream. This is the, is it focusing? Yeah, this is a Tatcha water cream. Um, comes with this little gold spoon, I love it. And um, this is how it looks. So it's a very lightweight moisturizer, it's oil free. Um, it is one of the most refreshing moisturizers I've tried out there. Um, of course, I did mention this is my second jar, so of course I had to have loved it to repurchase. Um, one of the things that I really love about this is the water burst technology that it uses. So it has water break technology and basically upon um, application to the skin the water breaks and it delivers nutrients to the skin um, it is jam-packed with um, I think it's Japanese let me look at the ingredients um, yeah it has Japanese wild rose which improves the looks of pores over time um, Japanese leopard lily which reduces oil production and calms and soothes the skin and when I tell you um, I've never had an issue where I felt like my skin was sticky or tacky after using this moisturizer it really does feel refreshed it feels calm it feels smooth it, it feels amazing this good moisturizer I love it um, and then I'm going to move on to the touch of violet c radiance mask um i really wish that that there was this little thing you know like the water cream has where i can put this gold spoon but there isn't so i just have to you know leave it on top um so this is the violet c radiance mask and as the name suggests it is jam-packed with vitamin c so the brand claims to have used you know two types of vitamin c in this product as well as um um antioxidants um, it is a mask I think it's a white clay that was used I'm gonna look at the ingredients list very soon um, put it up on my phone since it doesn't have it on the jar um, so it claims that it's for all skin types which is good I know that some people tend especially with dry sensitive skin they tend not to do very well with some masks um, especially clay masks and um, it has brightening beauty berry and dual vitamin C so let's pull up the ingredients list and see so the first ingredient that I see is kaolin um, kaolin is a type of white powdery clay um, it's a fine powder and it works to suck up all the excess sebum so a lot of people are probably familiar with bentonite clay and um, I actually have a jar here of bentonite let us see let's go into my other beauty stash all right so i have a jar here of the aztec indian healing clay a lot of people are familiar with this um clay mask it's like very dark green trust me when i say that this dries up everything on your face it really does it's an amazing mask but it's not the best for people with dry and sensitive skin because you'll probably be red for a long time like that's how aggressive and intense this mask is so um 
Kaolin is uh, for, you know, it's less aggressive than bentonite. Um, so that makes it ideal for those dry, sensitive skin um, types. The product also has Japanese beauty berry. So the Japanese beauty berry um, is actually an antioxidant and it is used to stabilize the vitamin C. So they mentioned that it's two vitamin C's that are used in the product. So the first one that we have is the ascorbyl tetraisopalmitate and then the other form that's used is bisglyceryl ascorbate. Um, so that's a vitamin C derivative that's bound to glycerin. Um, my dog wants to play, of course. <laughs> um, so a lot of us might know that glycerin it you know can be found in the skin um it's a natural product that's produced by our skin um it's a humectant um it's very well known to help with locking in moisture so this form of vitamin c um you know is bound to glycerin which therefore means that it has enhanced moisturizing properties um, and anti antioxidant properties as well compared to l ascorbic acid which is the most common form of vitamin c that's used on the market um, also touch of prides itself in how to say three i don't know if i'm pronouncing that correctly hopefully i am and if i am not i'll figure it out um, but how to say three um, it's basically three essential Japanese ingredients that are used widely and that would be the um, green tea, rice and algae. So the algae component actually claims to help with skin hydration and then green tea of course is a very well known antioxidant so that will um, be an excellent antioxidant source to the skin and then we also have the rice protein which gives high um, um, protein nourishment to the skin. So I think that is probably a mix that's used in a lot of Tatcha products um, but these two I'm a very big fan of, I love these two products. Let me put this back right here. Honorable mention, so I, you know, I have way too many products to get into everything because honestly this video would never end. Um, but honorable mention, I love this honey mask. If you have like dry dry skin, like dead of winter, and your skin is flaking and you just need something to restore that moisture, this is perfect. So this is a honey mask and it's made with 38.7% pure honey. Like when you open it and look at it and smell it, like you can tell. It just feels like honey right out of the jar. Um, so yeah, I love this mask. Great for hydration. Let's move on to Glow Recipe. So you guys um, might be familiar with this brand, of course. Um, I fell in love with this brand because of the packaging. Like, look how cute these are. These are adorable. So cute. I fell in love with the brand because of the packaging. And then I, of course, did smell the products. This, you know, smells heavenly. It smells so good. It's the best smelling product I've ever had in my life. I think um, but jumping into these two so the concept of the brand is very cool um, the products that they make are all based on fruits so this one is the watermelon glow sleeping mask and this one is the avocado melt retinol sleeping mask um, so let's start with the watermelon glow sleeping mask I feel like a lot of people feel like this can be mimicky just because you know like you're not really taking the name seriously but these actually have some very good ingredients in them so starting with the watermelon glow sleeping mask let's see the ingredient list all right so it has watermelon fruit extract um, also has hyaluronic acid along with glycolic acid and lactic acid for an all-in-one facial which is what the brand kind of markets this as an all-in-one facial um, and of course it's a sleeping mask so it's supposed to work while you're sleeping so the glycolic acid and the lactic acid will act as an exfoliant while the watermelon fruit will act as an antioxidant um, the hyaluronic acid and the glycerin glycerin will act as a humectant and um, you know to me this is a very good product these are very good ingredients um, I can't remember how much I paid for this 
this is actually my second time having this product and you know what I say about seconds and then the avocado melt retinol sleeping mask these masks just make me so hungry <laughs> I'm actually I need to go get ready for dinner right now um, but yeah so in this one the sleeping mask avocado sleeping mask has avocado of course um, honey and a mix of alpha hydroxy acids so AHAs are known to exfoliate the skin it also has a lot of potent antioxidants and anti-inflammatory ingredients yeah I haven't really used this one as much as I thought I would but then I you know I'm still really new to this one so I'm gonna try to use it some more but um, I mean, it doesn't have that great of a smell as a watermelon one. I mean, I guess avocado doesn't have the best smell in the world, so I'm probably expecting too much anyway. Um, but yeah, this one is a pretty good product as well. I would definitely recommend it. Really love it um, so far with my uses that I've had with it. Um, yeah. All right. So I have two drunk elephant products right here i like to call them the dynamic duo they're so cute together um one love the packaging of drunk um, drunk elephant um i really think it's very cool i mean if you're someone like me that loves packaging and you know color scheme and the way that the product is dispensed then you might really like it um so it's in an airtight jar it just spins up like that i mean I love things that are just very pleasing to the eye. I love the aesthetic. So, yes, I'll point that out and then let's get on to the good stuff that you guys really want to know. So, Drunk Elephant, is it worth it? So, these come in at a very steep price point. Like, steep? Steep? price point um i think the glycolic night serum goes for around 90 dollars the last time i checked and then the c firm a day serum goes for around 80. so collectively you're spending about 200 for both of these and honestly that's a lot that's a lot to be spending <laughs> on these two little products but you know your skin is an investment so I you know I tend to justify most of my purchases that I make with my skincare um, this product however claims to have 15% as ascorbic acid um, and it also has some ferulic acid which is an antioxidant and acts as a potent um, antioxidant and that can help with the stabilization of vitamin c as well it also has indian gooseberry and vitamin e it also has eight other plant extracts including pumpkin ferment and pomegranate extract that sounds like a really good smoothie like just a nice smoothie no, I'm hungry. Anyway, <laughs> um, the TLC from Boost Glycolic Night Serum. So this one comes in at a price point of $90. Um, it's a blend of AGs and BGs. So it has 12% AG and BG blend. Um, these include glycolic acid, lactic acid, tartaric acid, citric acid, and salicylic, salicylic acid. And that's a lot <laughs> and the claim is to resurface dull skin by lifting away dead skin cells so the good thing with the ingredient list is that all four acids are found in the top 10 ingredients so that's good like when you're looking at your products um, make sure you look at your ingredient list and the good stuff you all want to make sure is at the top of the ingredient list because then that's what's making up the bulk of the product don't you see them shining? Do tell me so you don't see the Lamere. You know you see the Lamere. <sighs> My Lamere baby. So I should just, you know, point out all the Lamere products that I have in here. So I do have the Lamere, the concentrate. This is actually my favorite Lamere product ever, ever. I actually had three bottles. I only have two left. So I've been buying this more than once, like, it's a good product. 
I also have my La Mer Eye and Expression Cream. Listen, when I tell you this product is probably the most expensive product that's in this shelfie, but look how much I've used. Just this much. <laughs> it's an eye cream. And then, oh, and it comes with this little like ball thing that you use to, you know, massage the under eye area. And then I also have my La Mer treatment lotion on this side. Um, so I have the La Mer treatment lotion. And then I have the La Mer brightening cream and my Creme de La Mer moisturizing cream. So I have a few La Mer products. I'll just group them all and speak about them all right now. Um, so La Mer is definitely known for its miracle broth, right? Um, as I did mention, the concentrate is my absolute favorite La Mer product. And I think one of the big questions that everybody has is, you know, of course, is La Mer worth it? Is it worth that $500 price point? Like, that's the type of um, product that you have to really show your eyes tight and, um, you know, say three prayers before you spend on that. Like, that is a high price point. And is it worth it? Is it? Whenever I am breaking out really badly or if I have a little scratch or a scar on my face, I use a concentrate and I kid you not, like my face just feels so much better. And I mean, this product, it is not heavy at all. It's so lightweight and it's so smooth on your skin. You literally feel like you just stepped into heaven and you just have like angels rubbing product on your face. Like that's how you feel. Moisturizing cream, as you can see, is very thick. It's very good for people with dry skin. It's very good for people that, you know, need that added hydration, that extra moisture. Um, and I find that when I put it in the palm of my hands and I kind of like rub it together, it helps to warm the product up a little bit so it's easier to layer onto my skin. But it's such a thick product and, you know, I tend to get really oily throughout the day. So I would just not want to feel that heaviness on my skin but you know the mirror moisturizing cream it's good to have when you need something for added moisturization you know that extra hydration many months later okay hi guys it's me and Rocco here say hi Rocco okay no anyway um sorry for the abrupt cut in that video I am going to do two parts to my skincare shelfie because it was running way too long and I don't think anyone's interested in watching like a 40 minute video um, and the audio on the second part really sucked so I'll be doing a, another skincare shelfie later on um, but today's my birthday and <laughs> I'm in quarantine so actually I filmed that video January we're in March March 29th so I filmed that video January like the first week of January and little did I know that I'd be in the isolation station like <clears throat> things took a turn for the worst so this is future me telling old me in that video that what you thought was gonna be happening for the rest of 2020 is not happening but anyway um, eventually I'll get around to filming the second part of my skincare shelfie and I'm just getting dolled up to go to my fridge today. That's it. I hope everyone's staying safe and this is my first video and I'm pretty excited about it because I... I don't know why Rocco's upset. Pretty excited about it because I've been wanting to do these videos for a while and I just haven't gotten around to it. I haven't had the time for it. Rocco. I haven't had the time for it, but now since basically all I have is time and being stuck in my apartment, then um, I'm gonna get as much done as I can. So yeah, watch out for my shelfie part two and have a good day in your isolation stations. <laughs> and make sure you give a thumbs up, thumbs up Rocco, pause up, like and subscribe I guess, bye.